Hello and welcome to how to run classic Nintendo NES 8-bit games on your computer video tutorial. In this video tutorial you will learn how to run and play Nintendo NES 8-bit games on your uh, PC, Macintosh or any type of laptop. And as you know or if you don't know the Nintendo NES 8-bit uh, console is already a uh, outdated platform and probably a history. But it has uh, tons of great games and especially if you have a young uh, kid or um, child in the family like 6, 9, 10 years old, he will enjoy uh, playing those games. And as maybe you're a veteran gamer that remembers when uh, you, uh, when he was a little child and was playing this uh, in 1994, 1996 and had a great, great uh, fun and um, I put some requirements for you to follow and if you will follow them you will get this um, experience without any lag or box I suggest you to go ahead and Google and download Nestopia for Windows or for Mac OS X so when you're downloading the Nestopia go ahead and just double check that it up to your operating system what is the Nestopia and why we need the Nestopia? Nestopia is emulator and to be able to play Nintendo NES games you need some sort of emulator basically a software that is capable to emulate the Nintendo NES on your computer and it will tell to your computer okay I am now a Nintendo console and then games will understand this as well and it will run on Nintendo console like it should be on Nintendo console but it's going to be in Nistopia which is emulator there is some other emulators out there but Nistopia is one of the famous and it's great has no bugs and I believe it's open source as well as it's a freeware so it's free for anyone to download and try and play also you need to find a ROM file with the favorite game that you want to play and there is a bunch of sites if you will just go ahead and search and google um, Nintendo ROM file you will find a uh, website with the ROM files I suggest you to visit www.coolrom.com it has bunch of ROMs for Nintendo NES 8-bit console and a great great selection one of the famous games that was ever produced for 8-bit console in 1994-1996 and also you need the low budget computer or laptop made in 2007 or of course newer uh, is required and will be just fine and uh, low budget will be just fine it will run the game without any lag or bugs if you're using the Nistopia software and just because the Nestopia software required 800 megahertz single core CPU processor to run the games of the Nintendo NES 8-bit. So any computers that released in 2007 has over 800 megahertz and more than one core. So you will be just fine. All right. So I explained to you um, what is. Um, emulator what is ROM so pretty much uh, what is the ROM file as again uh, ROM file is an image but not like a photo it's an image that contained uh, some data some binary inside and it's capable uh, to contain a game inside and it's required the emulator to be able to run this ROM file so let me go ahead and show you in real life an example so you will completely understand what I mean and so let's go enough theories let's get to the action I assume that you already downloaded the um, Nestopia usually it comes in a zip file you can also visit the coolrom.com website it has that emulator out there as well it has some other 8-bit emulator for Nintendo but I suggest you to Nestopia is one of the best but it's not limited to Nestopia. You can use, as again, some other emulators. It's up to your taste. And I assume that you downloaded the, uh, the Nestopia software and it comes 
basically it uh, it it came uh, in my case a zip file and I unzip it it's about like two megabytes something like that and uh, here we go it depends to your version and right now you can see it's playing the Mario and Super Mario was one of the famous and um, first games for the Nintendo NES and it it had like millions and tons of millions gamers out there gazillions but as again Nintendo NES 8-bit uh, console is not limited to just a Mario it has tons of other great games and today I will show you just few of them but keep in mind it has tons of other games and just go ahead and if you like what you see on the screen just go ahead and try to download few of the ROMs and run it in your emulator which is Nistopia play some and have some fun pretty much uh, on top over here you can see some menus you can use some menus some tabs and file you can open the emulator you can do screenshots some others you can see over here options okay machine you can be pretty much use like it was in the console reset power off input you can set your input uh, up to four ports because Nintendo has up to four ports you can click on it and you can basically set what you want then net play you can play it online with some other gamers if you will connect it and if the service will be available at the moment that you're um, watching this video under the views you can just change the screen size and basic information also under the options there's a video sound input input where you setting the keys on the keyboard so it, it just set to your taste sound you can enable disable the sound in our case I disable the sound so you can hear me video you can set the video size you can do the full screen and etc there is contrast ratio some saturation just play with that so pretty much that's it and um, shape forward options there is nothing um, complicated over here as you can see now let me go ahead and show you how to load the ROM you can click file and open and load the ROM or you can just drag and drop and um, I just opened the folder where I put the the ROMs right here and I downloaded like three ROMs they came in zip files and zip them and Contra, Super Mario and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle as you can see Contra is one of the famous as well like a, even like a Super Mario it had tons of millions uh, gamers out there that love this game let me go ahead and load it for you and remind you if you're a veteran if not if you're just a beginner and uh, just you know wasn't born at 1994 1992 or wasn't able to play it in 1992 I suggest you go ahead and install this game and try it if you like what you see it's a good good a great actually game out there it has some bosses different levels different weapons uh, complexity of the levels it's it's a great game Okay, there is some other game right here. So pretty much, it, it as you can see, Contra dot NES. NES is an extension for the ROM file that will play in Nestopia and contain an image of the binary and data that basically game itself. Keep that in mind. NES. Some other extensions are not going to be as 8-bit Nintendo NES um, ROM file. Okay, there is some other files uh, right here. Teenage uh, Mutant Ninja Turtle 3, go, uh, great, great game as well. And let me just go ahead and load it uh, for you and just show it to you. It's a great game as well, and um, you will have tons of fun playing it. it. Has some bosses. It has the complexity of the different levels. It's a great, great game as well. As again, this is just three games I'm showing you during this video, but it has tons of great games. So go ahead and Google for Nintendo NES ROMs and uh, see some other files and websites to download and experience some other games. Keep in mind, there is some websites I will try to put you some viruses, like but do not download executable files. Download that just a zip file, and when you're going to unzip the file, make sure it has the NES uh, extension before you will drag and drop it or open it in the uh, Nestopia emulator or some other emulators that capable of running the 
ROM file of Nintendo NES. As you can see, that's a great game, and uh, you can play. There is two players can play it usually using two joysticks, and uh, or maybe you can use the net play. But it has different levels, and it's just a fun to play it. And it doesn't require the powerful computer. Any computer into right now that is alive will be able to play it with, without any trouble at all. All right, thank you so much for watching, folks. As again. Um, uh, it's my pleasure to show you another video tutorial that will be useful for some folks. Please thumbs up and like uh, if you're watching this on YouTube so I'll have more motivation to create more video tutorials in the future. And subscribe so you're not going to miss any. Thank you so much and have a great day and have fun playing. Bye.